Hey everyone, this is Awesome Walker Barishi from Zen Ideas. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the Jet Smart filter and show you how to add this uh, search box type to search by keyword. Okay, so this is the website uh, I've been working. Uh, this is a mentor uh, directory, so the mentee can search through a mentors list. And then, uh, so we have filter here, so they can check, you know, box here and they can filter. But uh, I want to talk about this type keyword section. So, uh, so let's talk, uh, you know, type, uh, let's say, Carlos. So by name here, so you can search a name. And then, so let's say um, I want to just the name. And also I want to, there's the bio here. And then there's some keyword in the bio. So let's say I'm looking for uh, somebody's in a computer industry. So computer, All right, here we go. So I'm sure there's a keyword for this computer here. So let's check out his bio. Yeah, so there's a computer here, keyword here. All right, so let's go back here. And one more keyword here, so maybe business. All right, so there's a business word right here. Okay, you see that? Now, so let me show you how to do this with the Jet Smart Filter. So let's go to, uh, so this is the dashboard, and then here is the Smart Filter, and let's look at the filter here. So I already added this uh, search box here. So you need to just click here to add new search box, but I already added, so just click Edit to show you what's like. So now there's lots of filter type here, and then just pick this search, okay? And the search by, so I'm using, um, you know, you don't want to use a default WordPress search. You can, but it's going to search entire site. Okay. So in my case, I want to just search for the name, first name and last name and the bio section. Okay. So the custom field. Okay. So click this. Uh, this is just placeholder. I just use the type keyword. I mean, you can say keyword by first name, last name, bio. Um, you know, you can add whatever you want to here. So here is the query variable. All right, so this is, you wanna put the um, uh, meta field here. So let me show you. So in my case, some mentors are users. Okay, and then uh, so I just go to Jet Engine and I got the meta field. So I'm gonna just open up with a new tab here and the mentor meta. So this is a user meta field. And I have, uh, for example, yeah, so here's the bio here, okay? So, and click here. And then this user, um, this, sorry, not the user, uh, name slash ID for this meta field. So I just copy this and go back to small filter and then paste that, okay? Now, if you want to add, so let's say uh, there is a, some hobby section here. All right, so there's hobby section. I'm going to copy. I'm going to add hobby to this. And then, so just a comma. I don't think you need a space. Just a copy and paste that. And then just hit update. All right. And let's uh, go back to this window. I'm going to just refresh here, though. So let's say if uh, somebody's interested in fishing, the hobby. All right, so it looks like uh, Tim Cook is interested in fishing. Let's take a look. Here we go, fishing. All right, uh, let's do it again. Something maybe uh, tennis. I'm sure there's lots of people interested in tennis. All right, here we go. Of course, Roger Federer is going to be interested in tennis. Okay. And then, uh, so how you add that filter to the pages? Uh, I got this lister, our mentor page here. So let me show you. I use Elementor. All right, so I'm going to just, yeah, so right here. Okay, so when you type, um, uh, you have to install Jet Smart Filter, and I think search. Yeah, so you got um, a search filter right here. So you're going to just drag and drop here. Okay, all right, so that's how you um, do that. All right, so um, yeah, this is just a quick uh, tutorial, and I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.